Today, we will be installing the 1 inch Detroit Speed rear sway bar. The first step is to measure the axle hub to the wheel well and record that height. Jack up the car and use jack stands to support the frame and then remove both tires. Remove the old sway bar links Remove the bushing mounts and drop the old sway bar. Temporarily install the new sway bar brackets. Grease up the bushings and install them on the new sway bar. Temp install the bushing mounts to the axle, making sure that the mounts align with the notch in the factory axle. Install the new sway bar links, but do not tighten them. Ensure that the sway bar is centered in the axle. Go ahead and torque the bracket nuts to 55 pound-feet. Install the locking collars on both sides of the sway bar. These collars ensure that the sway bar cannot move left or right. Jack up the axle and match the ride height measurement. And then tighten the end links. Please note that the Detroit Speed Bar has a hard and soft setting. I used the softer setting to start out with, but may try the harder setting later on. Reinstall the tire and tighten the lugs. The sway bar worked very well for me. Tire wear and tire temperature was even across the rear tires. So that's a big improvement over my old sway bar. The rear end was also far more predictable when pushed to the limit. Thanks for watching this video and make sure to stay tuned for a wheel fitment guide. In the next few months, I'll be rolling fenders and doing the math to fit 18 by 10 and a half inch rims on all four corners. With a goal to run 305, 30, 18 autocross tires on all four corners.